Cards. I'm here with a, another TTN Thursday video. Uh, today I have two returns. They are people I have gotten before, so I'm going to go through them kind of quick. Not really going to go too much into their career. Actually, I'm not going to at all because I've done it before and um, yeah. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, so my first one is Bobby Valentine. He usually is just one per um, request. So I did have these two cards already when I sent the first one out, but I didn't uh, send this one since it's one per. This is the one I got last time. It was his rookie card. Um, so I was really psyched to get that one back. And then I really liked the 72 design. So I uh, was happy to get that back, obviously. So that's my first one. Right there, 71, 72. So two years in a row. I didn't get any manager one signed or anything like that. I like more of the player stuff. But everyone knows Bobby Valentine. He was the um, Mets manager for a while. The Rangers. I think the Rangers, right? The Rangers and the Red Sox for one year. Maybe some other teams. I'm not really sure. I know he managed in Japan. He was really successful. Won some championships there. And my second return, which this one I'm super psyched about, even though I've gotten it once before, uh, wasn't exact. Less so, I'll show you the old one first. So it's Herschel Cobb, which is Ty Cobb's grandson. So he signed this Gypsy Queen I had um, previously, and he used um, a green Sharpie. Ty Cobb was known for writing in green ink, as you saw on that Ty Cobb relic that I had. Uh, I think it might have been my last video where he, he wrote in green ink. So he signed a green Sharpie, and I know he's done. He's said before to other people in his returns that when he uses the pens on the card, they don't come out that well, so that's why he uses a green Sharpie instead of the green pen. And he still uses his grandfather's pen, it's just obviously he replaces the ink, but it is the same pen, um, a green ink pen. So this is my old one. I sent him two cards. So this one is a 2012 archives. And he used the green ink pen. I specifically asked him if he can use the green ink pen. Told him I was a big Ty Cobb fan. And he did. So it doesn't really look green, I guess, so much in this video. But it, maybe it does. It is green. It looks kind of, it looks green over here, but not over here. But it is green. Um, so I was super psyched to get that back. So we'll just leave that there. Might as well leave Mr. Bobby Valentine's rookie card on screen too. And then this one is a 2017 archives. This one got a little smeared. It's actually, the rest of it is on the back of this. As you can see there, there it looks green there. That was a really cool picture, not cool card. And it says 219 2020. I've had this one for a little while, just haven't done the video. The ones where I get them for a second time, sometimes I don't even feel like doing the video. But these ones are really cool. And I like Bobby Valentine, so I'm not going to complain. And it's a 72 tops. And he also, Ty Cobb, uh, while he was still alive, used to. Um, I guess stamp a lot of fan mail and not necessarily sign it. And his grandson used the stamp on these index cards. It's a little blurry. So I was super psyched to get that. There's actually books published for talking about Ty Cobb's autograph stamp. So I guess it was some kind of a well known thing. And then, like I do with every return i asked a question i and a letter i said can you uh if it's not too much tell me a story about your grandfather i'm really a huge fan and he wrote back with the green ink pen uh hello please read my book heart of a tiger lots of i assume that says stories i guess herschel cobb and that is an awesome signature it's huge it's got the little line with the at the bottom there 
And uh, so I was really happy to get this back too. So yeah, those are the returns I have. I know it's not uh, anything new, but two that I was really psyched to get back. And sometimes it's not about new stuff. It's just about the card, the picture, where the signature is placed. I <coughs> I'm really picky about the cards I send to get signed uh, for the picture. And like this one, there isn't really a bad place that Bobby Valentine could have signed this where it wouldn't have come out good. He signed it right here, over here, over here. I mean, it's all good. The Herschel Cobb ones are, they're in great places, but like this card, it maybe would have looked better if he signed it across here because it was lighter. But anyway, super psyched to get those back. Grateful to Bobby Valentine, who is the athletic director at, I think, uh, Sacred Heart University, I want to say, and that's where I sent that. Although it came back from didn't come back from Pennsylvania, which is where Sacred Heart is. It came back from New York, I want to say, or somewhere. I forget. Actually, where's the envelope? It came back from Westchester, New York, yeah. And Herschel Cobb is in California, and that came back from California. So, yeah. So, that's all I got this week. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. Share this video. Tell your friends to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.